What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 36 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway tutorial. In part 35 of this tutorial series, I have taken you through how to query the Dynamo table using API Gateway. And now in this tutorial, I will take you through how to delete the item from the DynamoDB table using API Gateway. So let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I have this resource that is put Dynamo data. So that is something I have created in part 34 of this tutorial series, followed by the post method and the get method in the part 35 of this tutorial series. So we are going to create another method that is delete method under the same resource. So select that resource, click on action, say create method. And here we will say delete and click on the stick mark. Now here we need to integrate the DynamoDB service. So here within integration type, we will say AWS service. Within AWS region, uh, in my case, it's US East 1. Within AWS service, select DynamoDB. We will leave AWS subdomain as it is. Within HTTP method, it's going to be the post, right? Within action type, select use action name. Within action, we will say delete item within execution role we are going to copy and paste the role arn that we have created in part 34 of this tutorial series right and we will leave rest of the option as it is and click on save now once you are done with this configuration click on integration request scroll down to mapping templates and here we are going to transform the request uh, before sending it or before passing it to the DynamoDB. So select second option. Within content type, say add mapping template and enter application slash JSON. And click on this tick mark. And scroll down to generate template. Here we are going to define a template saying curly braces. The very first thing that we are going to say is the table name from which we want to delete the item, right? Mind the caps, colon table name API demo in my case, followed by the key, right? So this is basically going to be the condition for which we want to delete an item. So key followed by the partition key uh, I will say ID in my case, right? Basically it's ID in my case, followed by the data type. So that's string, colon, the value of that ID or the value of that particular item that we want to delete, right? So that is something that we will fetch from the query string parameter. So I will say dollar input dot params followed by the query string name so it's id and i will say save now i think we are good to redeploy this api so click on action say deploy api select the deployment stage and say deploy now, before we go ahead and try to invoke this API, if you remember, then we don't have the permission for delete item, right? So the API gateway will not be able to perform that action on DynamoDB table, right? So for that, we will go back to IAM management console and we need to modify this API underscore DynamoDB policy, right? And we need to add the DynamoDB call and delete item action over there, right? So for that, Click on policies, search for the policy that we have created in part 34 of this tutorial series. So that's going to be the API DynamoDB. Open that policy, say edit policy and select JSON from here. Now here all we need to do is add an action saying DynamoDB colon delete item. Now, once you're done with this change, say review policy and save changes. Now let's go back to API gateway and copy the invocation URL 
and we will open postman new tab paste it over here followed by the resource so that's going to be the put dynamo data right followed by the query string parameter the risk question mark id equal to which id we want to delete so let's have a look at the dynamo db so i will copy and paste the id of the existing record right so i will say this one that is very first record and i will go back to postman and paste it over here and i will pass that id as the query string parameter right and here within method we will say delete right and say send so as you can see it returns status code 200 and i think it's successful let's have a look go back to dynamo table let's reload these items so as you can see uh, the item has been deleted and now we have two records instead of three record right so well this is how you can delete an item from the dynamo db table using api gateway right so well that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial until that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time